Hey, welcome back and thanks for joining me for another episode. So here I have the motor housing opened up because I still need to finish wiring everything up before I can continue on to do my fuselage of my X-Wing. So I have my motor housing opened up here. This is where the, it's going to connect to my base. Here's the light for the cockpit which connects to these two solder points right here on this board. So what I've done is I have unsoldered the cockpit light and I'm going to remove it from the motor housing since I will be using my own light. And inside here is where I'll also be connecting my engine lights and my laser cannon lights. And you can see here the engine lights are still working. My torpedo light still works. The wings still open and close. But obviously there is no cockpit light there because I'll be adding my own. So here I have my NeoPixel lights which I will be using to light my engines and animate the engine lighting. And I've got one removed here. You can see how teeny these little guys are. And like my Y-Wing I'm going to have to solder on some wires to the back side of these connectors here on the NeoPixel. So I just soldered my ground wire on here and I'm going to continue on by soldering my hot and data pins as you see here. So I have this NeoPixel ready to go. And I'm hooking up to my trinket board just doing a quick little test to make sure my soldering works and the LED works and as you can see there everything works fine. And here's kind of how it's going to look when it's inside the engines of the X-Wing. So I've got all four of my NeoPixels soldered up here. I've tested them all. They all work fine. And they are going to fit inside these housings here, which was meant for the 3mm LEDs that come with the kit of the X-Wing. So I've put some shrink tube on the ends of these to keep them a little stiff so that when they go inside the housing they will fit in there without the wires bending. And again I'm doing just a quick little test of them uh, with my shrink tube secure just to make sure everything is still working and I haven't loosened anything up. So this is the kit 3mm engine light that slides right into here and you can see how the LED protrudes through that hole and is almost flush with the end of the housing. Now when I take my NeoPixel though it fits inside the housing um, it butts up against the back a bit deeper than the 3 millimeter LED and I'd like it to come up more to be flush with the end. So I'm using a 13 64th size drill bit here and drilling all the way through. I'm going to clean it out and get rid of that little lip edge that was inside there. And now when I take my NeoPixel it fits all the way through and I can get it just flush with the end of the housing for the engines. So I'm going to open up my engine housing here again to get to the board inside. Oops, I accidentally dumped the gears out to open up the wings. So I put some Tamiya tape on those gears so that they won't fall out again while I'm messing around inside the housing. And I'm going to pull the housing up here. And this little area here is where the kit engine lights go into the housing. And they go through this little area here and you can see it moving inside. And they solder to this board right here. So I've removed 
one of the LEDs and I have my NeoPixel right next to it and I need to cut my wires to the same length so that when it's put inside the housing it will be the appropriate length as this one is to come just to the edge of that housing. And you can see in this manual here the wire comes up and it goes through this little portion first and then it fits from that portion through this engine cover here and then it fits into the housing which I drilled out the end for. So as we know again here's the housing drilled out for the end of the engine. Here is the engine portion that the LED will go through before that final housing. And here is that first portion that it needs to go through, which it fits through the one end, but it does not fit through the opening where it needs to start. And you can see the kit LEDs fit right inside there and come out, but mine don't. So what I need to do is I'm going to have to run my wires through there the opposite direction before I put them into the motor housing. And again, I'm actually running this backwards because the LED actually needs to come from the other side, which is why I'm going to have to do this before putting them in the motor housing. And you can see there's this portion that fits over it of the engine, and then this piece slides right into this portion of the engine. And there's a little bit of that area that's exposed so because I'm having to put this on my wires before I actually put this all together, I need to paint this before I assemble it. So I've painted all of these pieces with Tamiya Gray Primer, and then I've gone on and shot them with a shot of um, AS20 Insignia White, the color I'll be painting it with. And you can see here, I have cut a piece of wire that's to length with the LED that comes out of the wing section. And I'm going to use this cut length and I'm going to run it next to my engine LEDs that I made. And what I'm going to do is mark the end right here because that is where it needs to enter into the engine housing. And I put a little sharpie mark here and I know that that's how far it needs to stick out from the housing. So I'm going to run my wires through this portion here that my LED will not fit through. And then I'm going to run my wires into the motor housing. And you can see I have them run inside there. I put that little clip back on and they come out through underneath the clip into the housing. So I have all four of my NeoPixels run into the housing with these little engine pieces secured on them. And you can see them all here. And again, another test after running them through, I just want to continually make sure everything's working okay. So I've removed this whole board here, which was attached, which controlled the uh, kit engines. I don't need that anymore. And I've soldered my hot pins together, my ground pins together, and my data pins together, as you can see here. And I put some shrink wrap on them to hold them together. So this is the little connector that is going to power my cockpit. And I need to run the wires in through this little area here into the motor housing as well so that uh, it can feed my cockpit lighting. And again, the ground is number eight and hot is number four and there's no wire on this number two on the connectors inside the housing. So I've soldered my NeoPixels to the ground and hot and I've used that empty number two as my data pin line. 
So I connected the kit connector. I have an alligator clip here from my data pin to two. And these are all the wires that go through the kit, which will supply power for the cockpit. And here's my torpedo light and the engine lights. I'm going to turn it on. And my cockpit has lit up. My engines are kicking on and slowly warming up. Torpedo still works. The wings are opening and still closing and my engines are operating as I intended and the cockpit is fully lit. So I would call this a successful test. So the last thing I need to do before moving on to the fuselage is my laser cannon LEDs. And you can see here I have four 0402 red SMD LEDs that I will be using for my laser cannons. This is a three wire connector I will be taking my LEDs and attaching them to for power. I got three wires on this connector a yellow, red, and a black. And I'll be using the red as two sets of LEDs, the yellow for two sets of LED hot and then both will be connecting to the ground. So this connector here, I want it to come out of this area right next to the kit connector. When it's gonna feed through there inside the motor housing. And then the other end will be in my base and they'll connect together. So I need to feed these into the housing. I've temporarily attached a wing to the motor housing and here's one of my SMD LEDs and it's going to come out of the motor housing run into here through the wing when you flip it over here there's enough depth here with how thin these wires are it'll run through here with no problem whatsoever and then it'll run into the laser housing for the laser cannons that you can see here. And this laser housing attaches to the end of the wing. So I need to figure out how I'm going to make this all work. The laser housing just slides right onto the tip of the wing here. And looking at it, you can see in the middle there, get this back on, you can see right in the middle here there's a spot where I can run my wire for my laser cannon LED up through and it should be very concealed and you shouldn't be able to see it coming through here. So it can run through the wing right in through here and then come up through that and be hidden as it goes into the laser cannon housing and once it's inside the housing it'll run up through here and I'm gonna have to drill a hole in the end here so that it can fit into the laser cannon and it will go through this little front portion of the laser cannon itself as well and come out through the tip of that into the laser cannon so I've cut my little hole in the tip of the housing here and I cut a little trench here for my wire and just a little nub I chopped out here for my wire to run through so that it can go into the wing of the X-Wing. So the wire will come through here. It'll come out of the get this little bend here. So the LED will run into the laser cannon and it'll run through the housing and it'll come out the bottom here as you can see I have done here. And then the LED will fit through this little portion here which will snap onto the end.
and the LED itself will stick into a portion of my laser cannon. And then this portion of the laser cannon housing will slide onto the wing. If I can get it on. And here we have the wire coming out the bottom of the wing. And you can see it's very concealed here. You can't really see it at all going into the laser cannon housing. So there's the LED sticking out. The wire will run through the wing. This portion will go over the wing. And then my wire will come up through and it will go into the motor housing in the same area that my engine lighting wires go through. So the first thing I need to do here is I have the motor housing opened up, popping out this little tab so that I can run my laser cannon LED wires through the same area that the uh, engine LED wires run through. So I'm going to feed these into the uh, motor housing here and pull the wires through. Very small wires. And I'm going to put them at the desired length. So now I'm going to put the tab back in place to hold the wires in place since I have this run with the uh, engine LED wires. So that's one secure. And here I have all four done. I've got the two wires run on that side. And you can see here on the other side, I have my other two sets of laser cannon wires run. So now I have the ground wires and hot wires of the laser LEDs in here that I have to deal with and solder together. So I've soldered them together. I've got all four grounds going together, two hots to red, two hots to yellow. So when I fire, they will alternate. So it's time to uh, plug in my little three pin connector here and do a test and make sure my LEDs are still working after being run through the housing. And as you can see, they work just as planned. So when you press the fire button, the laser cannons are going to alternate. I've screwed the board back in place, pushed the wires underneath and secured them. Going to put the uh, motor housing back in position here and screw that into place. And it's all buttoned up and we've got my little laser connector coming out the bottom here to attach to the base. So here we are. The whole assembly is complete. My four engine LEDs. We've got my four laser cannon LEDs wired. The connector to power the laser LEDs. The kit connector which powers the engine LEDs and cockpit which comes through this connector and then we have the torpedo LED so that is the entire motor housing finally completed and wired up so I can finally move on to putting together the fuselage and making this ship start to resemble something of an X-wing so that's what I'll be starting on in the next episode is putting the whole body together in the fuselage so thanks again for watching